What's up, everyone? We're back at Bridget's Farm, San Diego Seed Company. Hello. And we're doing a couple different ways of saving seeds. And we're going, I think, with the most ancient of methods right now, right? Yep. The winnowing method. So why don't you just kind of give us the lowdown? Give us the So download. basically, winnowing is just as the name infers. It's using wind or air to separate seed. Um, people have been doing this since the beginning of time. It's been a very important step in agriculture forever. Yeah. Um, and the idea is that lighter material, whether it be chaff or dirt or dust or maybe other seeds, can get blown off from the heavier material. Um, and you can use it. You can do it either by actually using the wind. Yeah. Or since we're not going to wait for the wind for the video. Yeah, no. He has um, volunteered to be my air capacity. And I will be the lung of the operation. <laughs> the lung. So we've got some dill seed here that's that's really dirty. Um, you know, it's got all kinds of other stuff in it. it. It's it's not great clean seed yet, and so we're gonna clean it one step further. All right, let's do it. Um, so basically, I, I like these big bowls um, because you can get lots of air in there. So uh, basically, what I'll do is I'll put a big handful in here, and what I'm gonna have you do is. Ooh, that reflection! That like blasted me. I want you to blow and, okay. and try to get the, the chaff and you'll notice that, that the lighter stuff will kind of swirl here and you can just blow I'm right blowing off. into this? You're blowing into it. Okay. Um, it's a little bit of an art form so it's okay if you fail the first time. I am an artist by trade so I can do this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm blowing into this. Mm -hmm. And you might lose some of it, it's not a big deal. Yeah. But just straight into the thing. Straight in and what's going to happen is the way the bowl is shaped the lighter stuff's gonna go over here and make it off the lip, whereas the heavier stuff goes back into the center. Okay, let's try it. Go back a little bit and blow like up here. There you go. So, oh, okay. So see how you're losing? I'm the, losing this, some decent seed. Well, but seed. if it's lighter, we don't want it anyway. Oh, that's true. Yeah, if you guys remember the other video when we were doing the water separation, I guess it would be the same principle just with air, right? Exactly. Yeah. You, you're going to lose some, but you really don't want a bunch of bad seed. And so by having the lighter stuff blow off, you're yeah. going to have better quality seed. You'll have, yeah. you'll have less of it, but it doesn't matter. Because you want your germ rates to be high. Yeah, you want, yeah. You want to be able to know that what you're planning is what you're going to get. All right, the master at, at her craft. Oh, so separating a little bit helps. It sure does. See how this light stuff here? Yeah. That's all actually amaranth chaff. And guys, you can, it's hard to see probably on the camera, but there's so much light material just floating off right here. And would this be the only way you would clean this, this dill seed out or would this be like step one? This is one way and you definitely can get a little lightheaded after a while. Yeah. Um, you also can just wait until you have a good breeze. Okay. And you know, we'll, we'll stand up you here on just the edge like of the property. Drop it back into the bowl, just, right? Yeah. You can even see, look. Yeah, it's happening right now. See all that? Yeah. And that really light stuff, that's um, some amaranth chaff because there's some amaranth growing next to it. But yep. um, you can see just by doing that and you can even blow into it while and you can see how it's blowing it off. Now this is all before, obviously before technology came along. If you don't feel like, you know, getting lightheaded, yeah. you know, doing this forever. Getting the lung workout. Which is good for us, right? Yeah. Um, there's a really easy way. Da -da -da -da. You could just use a box fan. Yeah. Or any type of fan. Okay. Um, the most important thing for this is just don't get crazy and turn it on high right away or you'll make a mess of your seeds. Yeah. Yep. And, and some seeds are, are very different than others. Um, when we go inside, I'll show you some bean seed. Mm. You can blast that fan because the beans are so heavy. Yeah. Uh, the light stuff is so you would, blow you right could off. still winnow something like that, like a bean seed. Oh, totally. Because you'd blow off almost everything but the bean yep. very yep. quickly, because right? Because the bean is so easy, and then yeah. you can go through and, and hand pick. Okay. Um, another cool thing is separating just by screens. Mm -hmm. um, same ideas. Like there's some. Which we did, we did the screens in the, uh, in the clipper. It? In the clipper, yeah. And but you can use them individually as well. Oh, totally. Yeah. So I can use this, and there's some amaranth in here. And you'll notice that the. Um, so these guys, they have a, a measurement on the bottom 1 13th, 1 16th. Um, they, and the, the dill seed is a different shape, right? Mm -hmm. And so only the amaranth is going to fall through, or really, you know, little. Um, little stuff that you don't yeah, want. Yeah, because the dill is well larger than a yep. sixteenth of an inch. Yep. Yeah. Yep. And it has that oval shape. Exactly, which makes it really, really nice to clean. Yeah. So, and and remember too, like in a backyard setting, 
you don't have to get it that clean. There's nothing wrong with keeping a little bit of, yeah. of material in there. And when you plant it out, that's perfectly fine. Yeah. You just want to make sure it's completely dry. Okay. And the more um, excess material you have in there, the more stuff that could be holding moisture, which could lead to uh, not great seed viability. Right. Okay. So that, those are the things you have to remember. Which in your game is is the most important. Thing. Yeah. For yeah. me, as a you know professional seed producer, I've got to be. You know, there's no room for error. But you guys yeah. as the backyard growers, get as close as you can yeah. and perfect it over time. And Especially if you're just trying to save your own seed for next year. Exactly. You don't need to be as precise as Bridget does, but it, yeah. it doesn't hurt to try and experiment. So, Guys, so we did the winnowing method with the au natural mm -hmm. way, but now we're going to go up level and do some technology, which is barely any. It's just a fan. This is the highest technology I have. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just sorry. Teasing, just teasing. <laughs> yeah, so you can just use a box fan um, or, you know, any fan. Box fans are great because they push out air in a wide space. That's mm. why I like them. Mm. Um, and you can control the airspeed, which is awesome. Uh, so you can go, you can start on the one, move up, yep. move up, move yep. up, until you start seeing some actual seed that you want to save blow off, and then you dial back down. Yep. Yeah. And that's another uh, reason why I like doing it on these white tables is uh. I can kind of see versus doing it outside on the concrete. But um, gotcha. if you use a tarp or something, try to use a contrasting color so you can spot the seed. Got it. Good tip. Epic tip. So we've got, what do we have here, beans? Yep, these are some beans awesome pole beans. Yeah, you, there's, you can't see right now, but there's quite a bit of dirt on the bottom. There's junk so in there. So let's go ahead and yeah. go ahead and do it. You actually, if you want, you can just pour the bag in front oh, of it. That's yeah. a good call, that's a good call. Oh yeah, look at all that pour. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna turn it higher because beans are so heavy. Beans are so heavy, you could probably turn it on to max, I would guess. Yeah. Oh, wow. A lot of junk. That last bit. Yeah. Now we have this great, clean, beautiful seed. All that junk that you saw blow off is now not in there. Um, another benefit of trying to keep the seed as clean as you can is when you're blowing off that chaff, you're also blowing off um, places that insects can hide, and they can be really damaging to your seed. If you leave a lot of chaff in with your seed, and you store it for, say, six months, and there's some insects in there chomping away, you might be pretty disappointed when you open up your, your bag of seeds the next year. So if you can try to get it as clean as possible, you'll have much better success. Boom. Pro tips, Boom. winnowing from Bridget. If you guys want to check out her seeds, sandiegoseedcompany.com or links in the description, and we'll see you in the next video. Later.